Hello everyone, Carl here again. Um, so hopefully if you're watching this, you're about to watch Matt's really great overview of essentially all the maps in Maestro. But um, one thing that I think in particular is pretty complicated on our cars is the way that boost is requested. So I really quickly just wanted to put in a video to give you guys a high level picture of how basically the ECU goes about requesting boost. And that way hopefully when you watch Matt's video and you're following along, it will make sense a little bit more. So um, it's not that complicated, but it's not intuitive either. So basically what happens is, um, the way your ECU works is when you're driving, you have a certain RPM that you're at and a certain, um, basically accelerator position, right? And depending on that, the ECU is going to re request a specific torque value. So it's going to say, okay, we're at wide open throttle, we're at 4,000 RPM, we want to make 500 Newton meters of torque is what it might say. What it's then going to do is reference these port flap tables. So basically, you're going to have low port and high port, cam position A, cam position B. There's four tables. Um, and you're going to look up something that is called air mass per stroke. Basically, this is saying in every cylinder, how much air do I need to use in order to make that amount of torque? So this kind of makes sense how these are related. So the next thing that basically you get is this pressure upstream throttle map, which is basically saying, okay, if I need to make this much, uh, or if I need this much air mass per stroke, um, what does that actually correspond to in terms of a real boost value? So the ECU does some trickery kind of between these two, so it's not a direct reference, but this is still the flow. So torque target, look up how much air we need per cylinder, and then some calculations, and then we have this pressure upstream throttle map. This is basically a scaling map, and what I mean by that is it's saying, okay, well, we've calculated based on our port tables that we need, um, you know, 2,500 millibar of boost. Well, maybe the pressure upstream throttle map is going to say, okay, go ahead and request 25 millibar of boost, or if it's scaled, um, say scaled up, it might say, well, let's actually scale that 2,500 up to 2,600. Or if it's scaled down, it might say, no, instead of 2,500, let's only request 2,400. Um, so this is really like a scaling map. Um, and then this goes into this basically select minimum function. So your ECU has a secondary map called a turbo max pressure ratio map. And this is basically a safety map. And it's a really powerful tool and a really great tool actually for us, especially as novices who maybe don't understand these tables as well, but still don't want to break our cars. Um, this basically says, and Matt will explain in more detail, it's another way of the ECU limiting boost. And the great thing about the max pressure ratio map is that it basically, it factors in altitude. So if you're at a higher altitude, it will limit the ECU to make less boost. So that's really good um, to basically maintain safety in different uh, climates. So you have this minimum function basically on what, um, what you need, what the ECU thinks you need to make in terms of torque, and then you kind of have this max pressure ratio map acting as a limiter to say, hey, even though we may not make the torque, don't stress the turbo more, and then you finally, from that, get your actual boost target. And as you watch Matt's video, um, try to keep this in mind, the data flow, because he's really pretty much exactly going to go through each map individually in kind of the same order that I did, and hopefully um, when you're following along, it'll make a little bit more sense what's happening at the high level. All right, thanks guys.